Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tess Treasure. Hello. Um, I'm here today to do another junket July. Um, I'm sorry if there's you can hear some banging and things. Uh, the neighbour on the right is putting a new fence up. The neighbour on the left is putting a roof up. And Ryan's had to put the doors back on today. We had to take two doors off. We've had um, we've had one of those American fridge freezers. I've wanted one for absolutely years. Um, and when they first came came out uh, in the UK, there was <laughs> such a lot a lot of money um and they, they've dropped to quite reasonable uh now so yeah we had one and obviously you know when they deliver it they say um is this going to fit through your doors and things and you're like yeah yeah of course yeah yeah well yeah it didn't so um <laughs> yeah ryan has to take um we've got like a outside outside door um and then like a little passage at the back and then you know the back kitchen door so he had to take the two kitchen doors off and they are so heavy um so yeah i had to help him a bit i mean i was absolutely useless but um yeah he couldn't have done it without me <laughs> but he couldn't but yeah i still want much use so I've just pulled a few things out today and I've pulled a few things out what aren't junk to um, just the junk up. <laughs> Let's just this junk up. I like that. Let's just this junk up. Yeah, that could be. That could be a whole new challenge. Um, so <laughs> this was the piece that, that started it. And um, yeah, I was thinking, is it going to be a flip? But then what's the what's the point in in this so i'm going to take that off and just use that as, as a little tiny uh pocket put some tickets in or something like that and then i thought this can go like over the top and it can flip up and this envelope can be a flip out um so that's going to be that piece i've pulled out a couple more tickets i will get these tickets done um i've got part of an envelope and I think I'm going to make some corner pockets and I will have to, you know, glue um, a side up if I cut them down. But yeah, rather than just a, a square pocket, I don't normally make it, um, many corner pockets, so that'll be handy. Um, I've got this, which, um, oh, these was lovely. I think my mum bought me these last year, um, like popped in my birthday present, uh, Rocky Rose, because I'm gluten, gluten free. Um, so that's that piece and then we have some Tim Holtz packaging love Tim Holtz packaging and I'm going to make that into a pocket um, I thought yeah we'll just cover um, the hole up and um, it can be a pocket so I think we'll do that one first I think that's probably going to be the, the most straightforward is. so first <laughs> I'm going to um, cover these holes up you'll have to excuse this this mat um i do when i've done i can't remember what that was <sighs> some metallic paint or something but um yeah Ooh, so i'm just going to put this um framers tape on just to cover cover the holes i'm hoping that it won't be sticky on the other side otherwise we'll have to cover those over too so that's other oh yeah yeah so i'm going to cover them over both sides so obviously we don't want whatever we're putting in there sticking sticking down right i'm going to get the bone fold and really give that a good uh, burnish down so nothing's getting getting caught on it so that's that so i hope everybody is doing okay have to let me know how are you are you joining along with this july junket july or are you really good and use your packaging you know as as you get it um so i'm gonna kind of i'm not covering the back i'm only gonna cover um this bit i'm not sure what i'm doing at the back just gonna get my um sorry if i shut the camera um i'm gonna try and get my corner punch out yeah. 
when I put it back, I'm going to put it right on this side because um, it is something I don't reach for all the time. But I just have not got room um, to have it on my desk. So that's that. Leave it, leave it there, Tanya. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ink around it because um, there is white around the edges. So yeah, I'm filming this in the week. It's actually a Wednesday, um, and Ryan's off on a on a Wednesday. So he's just um, he's put the doors back on. What else has he done? Oh, it's obviously undone all the fridge freezer. We just got to wait that eight hours for it to settle before putting it on. So we're going shopping tonight, food shopping. So we've had no food for the majority of the week. Alan has been really moaning about it. We've got no food, what are we supposed to do? It's like, oh my goodness me. Right, let's see what I've got in here before I start. Oh, that's a part of the page, that shouldn't be there. And that's a part of the page. And that's a part of the page, they should be in me. Um, the junk ones, they're all full pages, that can go in my collage bit. So yeah, she's um, been panicking all week that, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna starve and waste away. Um, we have still got quite a bit in the freezer, but um, my mum's got a second freezer in her garage, so um, she put it, she hadn't got it on, so she put it on last night. Um, so I'm going to do a botanical. <laughs> I'm going to do a botanical. What a shot. Um, I don't know if to use this bit really. It don't really go, does it? Shall we do it? Oh, that looks nice. That colour is really nice. And I want this piece, even though it's screwed up, this is like the darkest piece. So I'm just going to rip that off. And let's... Um, just get the scissors and take this white off. So yes, yeah, so we've got to go uh, food shopping tonight. I think it's like 4pm when we can uh, put it on because it came <clears throat> early this, this morning. Right. I'm just thinking, sorry, I didn't know if to, yeah, I'll stick it down and then just cut, cut round out. Okay, okay. Let's, um, I'll do the colour. I'm not sure how it will be on the shininess, but hopefully it will be okay. So yeah, he's took all the packaging off that. He's been to the tip, got rid of it all. Um, I've, we have to pay in the UK to, <coughs> to have uh, fridges took away. Um, I don't know, obviously what it's like in, in other countries. So, um, yeah, I just went onto the council's website um, and paid for them to take it. I don't think they can take it um, for a couple of, couple of weeks. Um, I'm hoping they've sent an email because they didn't take any notice of um, the date, what they gave me. And... Um, I've paid for a, a glass bin. Um, you get like, you know, your normal refuge bin for free. Um, and then if you want your garden waste taken, you pay for your bin and you have to pay a yearly like subscription for them to pick it up, which we do. Because <clears throat> Ryan don't want um, garden waste in the in the car, uh, not just because um, we've had a new newer car, but um, he's never wanted it in the car. I think it's just an excuse not to um, go to the tent because um, <laughs> yeah, I remember before you know we paid for it. It's not like I was asking him to go to the tip every single week, um, and he got sick of that. <laughs> so um, at first when um said about the when the, the bin subscription first came out in he was like Phew, not paying for that um and then yeah it didn't take long for him to say yeah i think it's a good idea um so yeah we have paid yearly subscription for that and then um
might do a little bit of collage there and the glass uh, when they first started uh, taking glass away they um, gave you like a, a bag um, oh, I don't know it was like a rough type of material just just a bag and um oh I think they emptied mine a couple of times bear in mind this must be 12 oh Alma's 14 nearly like this year yeah gosh they've been doing it longer than I thought so I've not had a bag for a long time because I think um I used it a couple of times and it blew away and I just thought, what a ridiculous thing. So, um, we did occasionally. Well, like, we kept saving it up and occasionally I took it to the bottle bank. Um, and the odd times I've just put, like, a, a plastic tub out on the front and they have t took it away. Um, but this time they didn't. And I said to Ryan, I think I'm going to buy a glass bin. You can ask for another bag for free, but, like... Um, the days that they collect the bins, I actually, we're both at work, so it's like, they don't come and post them, I like that, uh, back through your door or anything, they just leave them on the street, so if it's windy and stuff, I mean, I think it's absolutely dangerous, same with the bins all being out on the street all, all day, um, for the people who, who are at work, um, you know, on those windy days, um, Many a time you come home and there's bins all over. Um, but yeah, they could blow into a car or anything. Anyway, I just laughed. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, I've paid for this glass bin. Well, it's just, they used to have these small, smaller versions of the um, normal refuge bin, but um. Whether they can't get hold of anymore. There's some, um, like in the UK at the moment, cement's really hard to get hold of. You know, this is all knock on from, from the COVID um, with, you know, deliveries, supply, and things like that. So there's some odd things that just are out of stock in places. Anyway, they've got no glass bins left. So, um, they're these like bigger bins which are the same size as you I quite just like that I might put a um, a label on this or something um, so yeah I'll, we'll only have to like take it to be emptied oof, a couple of times a year so it'll be just really a place to store store the glass and I don't know if I have something up there oh I might have both might have both. That's nice. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to do that. So, yeah, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I've just sat and done that. I've done my orders this morning. Um, I've done my day day later so when we go out at four to do the food shop I'm gonna to go to the post office first post my orders and um, yeah go to the supermarket I'm gonna to go to the pound shop first and then I'm, I'm actually gonna to go to Tesco's we don't we don't go to Tesco's very often um, <clears throat> but I said oh well, there's wanting freezer stuff they've got a pretty good uh, gluten-free selection it's not massive um, a frozen selection but um, yeah I can obviously get some goodies they do like garlic bread and onion rings gluten free and um, Sainsbury's where I normally shop um, they don't have onion rings or garlic bread in gluten free not in mine anyway I have seen them in a lot bigger um stores i mean ours isn't a small store but it's not you know like a superstore kind of uh, size so that's that one yeah i really like that it looks brilliant that background so we've got a pocket right what are we doing next what have we got next so we need to think about so i'm gonna have that flipping that way 
that's going to be over there. So if I cut this down so this bit's open, and then that can have, um, can have a card there, that's going to flip up there. Um, I'm going to seal that up and I'm going to open this. Yeah, so that will go there and flip it up. Let's pull something from down it. Oh my goodness, my um, cutting is absolutely horrendous. This is going to be horrendous because it's not, not on a straight surface. Yeah, so after you set it all up and what have you, it's just um, been in the garden and um, cut the hedges. And um, Colin's Dewey's, we got a text from the vet saying that it was Dewey's um, worming tablets and flea things. Um, so he's gone to Nick to get that and um, he's gone to buy himself a new spade. So he's gone into the garden centre. Um, and got a new spade so that sounds hopeful doesn't it I mean I think he said he's going to mow, mow the lawns when, when he gets back he'll be exhausted his day off but it is his weekend off this weekend Um, he tends to do more on that week because one week he um, well he works from the Monday till the following Wednesday um, without a day off but then that week is off Wednesday and the Saturday and Sunday because um, I don't know about in other countries but um, and I don't know about most retail but every retail I've worked in uh, Sunday is the first day day of the week and um, so our week starts on a Sunday which is ridiculous um, used to be a day of rest, not the first day of uh, the working working week. So that's going to go like so. We've glued that up. I need to think about what I'm going to cover this with. I need to cut that bit off. Do you think I can do this and get it straight? I'm just going to cut that lip off. Yeah. So I'm going to stamp over that. Um, it's still really got that little lip, but I don't want to take much more off it because I don't want to um, weaken that. I think I could do with like just putting. That's going to be the back. I could do with like, just putting something there, but bringing it over. No, no, I'll just put something at the back. See if it just gives it a little bit of stability. Um, oh, Colin, can I have another dog barking outside? I might have to pause for a second. So, um, I can't shout because I'm concentrating. Right, I think it's the right thing, eh? Right, I'm gonna pause. Right, it seems to be quiet again. Right, so I've just stuck tape all around there. I did it in a right peculiar way. Why I just didn't put one um long one on? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Um I'm thinking what I want to cover that with. I don't I don't want to do it with that. Um, I 
don't think I've got anything in here what I would like to use. I don't want to go brown. I've got that. That swings a little bit off to me. I don't know if you can see, sorry. I don't know if you can see in here anyway. Yeah, they're mainly browns. So, I know that I've got a really nice piece in here. So, I'm going to use this. Now, I forget, and I'm, I can never remember. Is it my new designs? <laughs> Oh, it's a shop that just sells backing paper, but it's a massive shop. Um, it, it's got, if I ever want a, a coloured paper or a background, it is one of them shops that I always check. Um, they don't do any kits or, or anything. It is all just backing uh, papers. Oh, I must have a look at the shop and drill it into my brain. But I've not bought a, anything off them for a long, long time. When I was first, um, you know, when I first started, um, I used to buy a lot from them because obviously you buy kits and stuff, but you need, you know, more backing papers and, and things. So it was kind of like my go-to shop for for a long time. Um, and yeah, I just can't, can't think what it's called. Right, I'm just going to stick this on and cut round it. I don't think I've cut that top very straight, so I'm going to come down from, from the top so I can cut straight. Well... <laughs> so I've got a good chance of cutting straight. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't want to collage it. Um, I just want it one, 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 just one. Uh, just one, one paper. Gosh, that that was hard work. Oh, I hope I've not just cut the top off. I haven't. Let's just cut down here. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Right, let's um, ink around here. I'm hoping this isn't too green now. Let's see. Sorry. No, that's fine. So that's going to be glued onto there. So I want to stick that down before I put a backing paper on it. And I want to stick this down first. So I'm going to stamp it. And I'm going to stamp it in the timber brown. Do I want to stamp it or am I just putting a Tim Holtz um, stamp? You know, like his field note type things. Hmm. I don't know. Just gonna crease that. You know, you know. Now I've <laughs> just made it a bit more stable. I'm just gonna unstable it to ink it. I'm only gonna put a ticket in. It's only, um, it's only for show, really. But yeah, you're not. It's not like you're gonna put loads of stuff in it, right? Make a decision. I don't know. I just don't know. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I quite fancy and I don't look like I've ever used this one I quite fancy that there so I'm going to pop, pop that there like so 
and I think that will that will do on there. Okay, um, it just come back from garden centre, just showing off his new spade. So Bobby does now. It's not a Wilkinson sword one. It's not um, who obviously make razors. So I don't want to chop your toes off. Right, I'm not going to keep the top open because I think that would be pushing um, it with the stability of the pocket. So that's going to go down in this corner. I'm going to leave a little gap round it like so. So it's straight-ish. Yep. Like that, let's um, just get a couple of, well, I'll leave it to dry, so getting all excited. Right, so I've glued that open and that's open there. So that's going to go there. So let's glue that down. I was just saying to Ryan, he ought to have really picked something up for for lunch. Um, seeing as we've, I mean, I... We've got toast and I bought long life milk. I see I don't mind long life milk on cereals and nobody else likes it. Ugh. But this toast and jam. <laughs> I'm just laughing at like Eleanor when you say to her, I have toast like that. Toast. Right, I think I'm going to put a label on there just to um, give it a little bit of definition, um, you know. I don't know if to go over that and then put another one on. I think that would be nice. So I'm going to try and cut it straight-ish. So yeah, Ryan had just remembered there was a sponge pudding, you know, the <coughs> the ones where you just microwave and some custard, so that's what he's having. I think I'm gonna have honey on toast. I love honey on toast. I um I like it with sliced banana. Oh it's my fave, but I've not yet even got any bananas. Not got anything fresh pot from the bread. <laughs> right, so that's that. I'm wondering if I want that one. No, I don't. No, that's funny. I wonder if I've got like a circle number. Or I've got my ink still out. I've got a circle or something. Well, I could have um, I could put the number in, couldn't I? <sighs> Shall we have this dead long number in? What's that fit? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like that. Um, yeah, I do like that. Let's um, put that there. So it's got a bit skew if on the thing. I wonder if it's because it's like warm. I think I'm going to get. Um, a little platform, um, you know, take them in. Normal plastic ones have gone. Oh, I do. Sorry. Right. Um, where are they? I'm gonna have to stand. Stand up. Ooh. I'm just looking where I keep my stamps. I think it was in here. Oh, I'll tell you what I've not used yet. I wonder if I can use that one as something today. Um, I've just seen that. Um, oh, that's enormous. Oh, I've got that. I'll do. Right. If I do that. And there. Yeah, it's not straight. Yeah. Let's just move that for a second. But yeah, I'll keep that out because I'm not. I'm not really, well, I've not used it, not used it properly. Used it to test it. Eek, here goes. 
Oh, fab. Oh, I love it. Oh, I really love that. Right, so that will do on there. I don't want anything else on there. So that can go there. That can go in there. I'll just put that over there. I'll mark them when I finish. Put them there. Right, so it's got some lids on in a minute. going to look for, well I'm not going to look, I'm going to get uh, a ticket or two out. So I get my tickets from uh, Julie at Camilla Crafts. Oh I've got one of those nice big ones. Now oh, that'll be nice. I've got another. So they're going to go in there. I think I might have... I don't know if it's sort of a circle there. Yes, I'm going to do that. And that's already been inked. So I must have been using it at some some point. I'm not going to put anything at the, at the back of there. I mean, I could have done. I could have stamped some more. Um, stamps. Right, so that can go there. <coughs> so I like that. So that's that. Do you think I'll be lucky enough to find a tag? A journal card or something that will go in there? I wonder. I'm going to knock you again, I'm sorry. Oh, I wonder if I've got anything made. You know, because I've made a million things. Nothing will fit it though, will it? <laughs> um, but I can remember I did something on those little um, specimen cards. Let's um, see if I can see it. This is journal cards, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. I'm thinking that might fit. fit. Uh -huh. Right, let's um, find one that. And the rest are quite green. That's a, yeah, I like that one. Right, so that can go in there. And then I'm going to get oof, one of those, um, like the whale tail thing is. So I'll put that at the Ah, that's all right if I cover that. I'm thinking if that goes up there. Is it too big? about that right so it fits to that so I need to take that bottom bit off that top bit off let's try and get that a little bit straighter right let's have a look at that Come on. Right, so, yeah, that's perfect. And then that can um, be there. Yeah, I'm just going to see if I've got a smaller one. Yeah, 
Ja, komm mal, Karte. Naja, ein Mais, Smaller. Nee, das ist für sein Teil. Ist ein Teil. Noch ein Teil. Honestly, that must have really been drilled into me. Like, if, if you watch me regular, you'll know when I say something like into it, um, <laughs> I do tend to straight away correct myself because oh, I used to send my mother wild, absolutely wild, um, if I spoke in, in slang. Um, yeah, oh, but see... Uh, my grandma did and obviously that's where that's where my mum got it from because um yeah um yeah my grandma would have been you know you need to speak properly um and yeah it's one thing but saying that not with Ellen this so much I mean I'm a lot more laid back but um yeah my oldest two um I used to crack them as well, probably not as much as my mum did or my grandma did to my mum, but um, yeah, and as soon as I say it, I just feel automatically like scolded for it, it's like, oof, I must correct, I must correct myself, oh dear, I'm going to say my mum wasn't strict at all, but um, yeah, she was so funny about um, speaking correctly. I want to ignite it. Oh. Oh, I like this piece. So that lives there. Which you can use that then to, to lift it up. So that's that bit. This is, I probably won't get <coughs> all those pieces done that I wanted to. Right, um, I need to cut this side off. I'm going to do it with a trimmer to get it um, straight. I don't know what kind of time we're on next. And next, I mean, in a second. <laughs> right, so that can go there. And I obviously... Um, can only glue here because I want it as a as a pocket. So I'm just going to glue down this edge, and then I'll go round the envelope opening, and I'm going to go round the edge of the envelope, and then I'm just going to fill in with Kalal because it seems to take an age to do it with this fine tip. Oh, mind you, I shouldn't need that much. It's only really thin, thin paper. So, you know, it's only copy paper. Right, so I'll line that up there. Make sure that that shuts. This one's bringing a little bit further. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so cut around this. Like so. like so and obviously you could put another pocket um on there which i'm not doing uh now so that's that piece so we've got two pieces and it's is that 30 or 39 oh we're already on 40 minutes right what can I make next which um let's do this one so i'm gonna cut diagonal across there so that is one corner pocket. Just 
who that are. Ellen is off school today. She's not very, very well. So that's that. And this is going to be a corner pocket too. But... I'm going to do it that way. So I'm just going to glue up here like so. Okay. So I'm not covering the bags. And I don't think I'm going to cover them. I think I'm just going to find something to put there. I'm going to stamp over them. And I'm just going to find something to go there. So let's, let's have a look. One I've got. See, I could just put one of those tickets on there. I think they're a little, <coughs> a little bit too big, really. I think. Probably everything's going to be too big. I wonder if I've got any. Um, I do like them. I don't know if it's just a bit, a bit too big. Oh, what do you think? Let's just have a look. If I... So they're the fabric <coughs> clusters. I'm not keen on those on there. That's a smaller one. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think everything's a bit too, too big. So I'm going to go with the tickets. Let's go with the tickets. What have I got in, in this one? Ooh, more fabric stuff. Mind you, I suppose that I have just finished um, the fabric embellishments on, <coughs> on the botanical series. Um, and, yeah, be obviously doing a lot of videos on clusters and things. So I've just been making those and filming, filming those. Right, so let's get this inked up. I'm so thirsty. Cup of tea. You know, really, I should have just decorated the two tickets that I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, because so I've got two tickets, haven't I? Anyway, I'll stick these on for now. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to stamp them, but I'm just going to stamp them in the vintage photo because I don't want it um, over the top. Or shall I stencil? I'm not stencil for a while. Yeah, I'm going to stencil. So I'm just going to pop that over. I'm going to go all over it. It. Like that, it's got me brush, but yeah, I'm just going to do it in the vintage photo so it's a little bit you know, I don't want it in, in my face or in anybody's face, <laughs> just want it subtle. So, look at that, yep, yeah, that oh, that's super. Oh, that's nice. put my stencils and my stamps on my table now um 
and I'm definitely reaching for a more. Yeah, lovely. Thank it. Right, so that's that. Let's pop them back. Oh, so I wish I'd have cut the plastics from. Right, so I'm going to pop that there and that there. Yeah, that looks loads better. Right. So look how handy these little tickets are. I want to say they're really good thing to add well you know anything this kind of size little clusters and snippety things so that's that one and that's that one about the same just in case you know ends up being used on the same same page it's a mirror effect so that's that's those two so we've got three pockets and one flippy outy thing what else have we got we've got two tickets and we're at 46 so i'm not going to do that um <coughs> let's just do two tickets to <laughs> to put back on the ones that we've just <clears throat> just used right so i want my you know i might put some music paper on it because <clears throat> i've been putting the material on it haven't i i wonder if i want to do one sideways i don't know how i feel about sideways ticket um i think they have to be upwards so that on there, that on there, yeah, um, I'm just going to get me Tim Holtz um, snip tea, snibbity snips. Let's see what we've got, I think I need to change this uh, dabber. Might put a little bit of that um, ledger on it as well. See what I'm going to put on it first. So that's that. Let's have a look. <coughs> Where's the lead here? Might put a butterfly on it. Yeah, let's do butterflies. I know there's that one there, but um, I wanted a open, open wing one. Don't lose the snippets. Um, see if I a different one. Gosh, that's tiny. That that one. Don't like it against the the green, and in fact, I'm going to save that one and that one uh, if I want to do some <coughs> blue tickets. Oh yeah, I like that one on there. Come here. Yeah, I'm going to do those. Okay. Do you want some? Um, Like a little teddy word or something. to just get a hold of, aren't they? Okay, I'll just keep, keep those out. 
Right, um, let's have a little bit of... I don't know if I want this. A flare mail on there, but put that back. Put it in there because it'll get wafted. Is that no? <coughs> so that can go there, and then that can go there. Yeah, like that. one and then this one that's going to have to be quite tiny so if you are joining along then if you want to share um you can use the hashtag Tattoo Treasure on YouTube or Instagram, or you can come along to the Facebook group and share your photos or put a link in for your video. And at the end of the challenge, I shall put a post up in the Facebook group um, to put your four photos in, uh, you know, one from every week. And it can be one project have you know one thing every week or a group of things every week and the people that's done you know four four lots um will be in for a little prize draw so that's that's those i really like those so that's it for today um obviously that <coughs> that flippy oh i've not used my stamp i will use it um, that flippy out thing took took longer than, than I imagined, but um, yeah, obviously it's quite a substantial piece. So we've got two nice little corner pockets and two tickets. We've got a Tim Holtz pocket. I'm really impressed with that. Obviously, I'm going to stick it stick it down fully. Um, and then we've got a, a flippy, flippy art piece. So that is, that is, that, oh my goodness, that's it <laughs> for today. I think I got stuck then. Um, and I shall see you, well, I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.